Hey, what's going on? This is Miss Instrumental, music producer, singer, songwriter, content creator, and spokesperson for the legendary Pelman Jr. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a very unique electric guitar instrument called Remena One. Now, Remena One was developed by Elementary Sounds. Uh, their virtual instruments are considered to be avant-garde according to their website. Uh, what this essentially means is you'll get a sound that sounds vintage, a guitar sound that's very warm, that has a lot of texture, that sounds soft, that sounds melodious, that's going to set the atmosphere and set the mood. On top of that, the user interface looks very minimal and very sleek. So that was inspired by a Russian avant-garde artist whose artwork focused on geometric shapes like squares and rectangles and lines. They were so inspired by this artist that they implemented his idea for art and put it right on the interface for Remena One. I thought that detail was really cool and I didn't want to leave it out when going over Remena One. Now, even though the interface looks very minimal, the sound quality is not minimal and we'll hear that in a minute. On top of that, you don't need contact, you don't need UVI, it's pretty inexpensive all things considered and uh, yeah, it runs by itself. So please like this video, please subscribe to our channel and let's take a closer look at Remena One. So let's dive in. Romina 1 is broken down into three primary sections really. We have the first section here and this is going to have more to do with shaping the sound or molding the sound, sculpting the sound I should say. Section 2, this is more of the effects section. Section 3 essentially is going to just blend in with whatever settings you selected in the first two sections. Let's go to section one just for starters. You'll notice that there's what appears to be lines, numbers, letters, followed by numbers and letters. Looks very random, but it's not random. So this very first section right here, this is a whole section. C stands for condenser. This is a large diaphragm Austrian condenser microphone. And this right here, the D stands for uh, dynamic. This is a small diaphragm American dynamic microphone. P stands for pedal board. So if you know anything about uh, guitars, uh, you understand that in order to take a sound from the basic clean sound to something that sounds more robust or something that sounds more uh, developed, typically you're going to add overdrive, chorus, delay, something to the pedal board for that guitar. In addition to that, L basically stands for line. This is going to be a clean signal for the guitar. Now with that being said, these lines are actually not just lines but they're pan control. So you could pan uh, each section right here to the left or to the right. And these numbers actually are going to correspond with how much of this particular microphone or pedal board for instance you want to be included in the sound. Now right below you have A, R, S, T, T, R. A stands for attack. So for instance, the more we raise the, uh, the attack here, or if it's zero, it's very attacky. And you can see that this is going to come in a little smoother because we took a lot of that attack out. R stands for release. So again, when it's low, releases very quickly. If you press the, uh, the key, and you let it go, it's taking a little longer to release. So ST essentially is going to basically kind of be like a picking noise for the guitar. Uh, and then TR, this is more or less going to be like the aftertouch. So if you're playing a guitar and you take your fingers off of the strings, you hear kind of like a sound. So there we go. Uh, if we move to the section below, what we essentially have is EQ. So this is a low cut. This is basically a low mid sort of scoop. So warm is tape saturation. Comp is an SSL style bus compressor. And again, these are not just lines, but this controls how much warmth and how much compression you want to add to the guitar instrument. Right below, we have echo, we have space. There's three type of sort of delay modules, hardware modules, I should say, that were sampled for space. There's also three different type of reverb modules that were sampled for, uh, for Remina One. And again, the lines above it are the controls. So we have high pass filter, we have low pass filter, we have an output knob. This is going to determine how much of the plugin or how loud you want it to be, how much you want to be included. And then this section right here, this is actually where things get a little special. We have vintage. This is a Moog style low pass filter, and this is just to create a little more texture and warmth. And then this right here is controlled. You can actually take your mouse and 
move it up and down but it's also controlled by the modulation wheel so for instance if I just play a basic chord so as you can see there's a lot going on there and uh, this is just more effects and as I mentioned if this is all the way down you still get the dry guitar you put this up you're gonna get a lot going on <laughs> so it's very atmospheric and then on top of that if you hit the actual name Ramina one what you'll get is you'll get different type of I guess they call it presets you get sustain mute harmonics match sustain random octaves and random notes so if I hit sustain it'll take me back to the front so that's Ramina one in a nutshell uh, I created some of my own presets and let's just see what sort of music we can make with this. So that is Ramina One by Elementary Sounds. I think it lives up to its description. I think it sounds warm. Uh, it's very inviting. I think it has a good tone. The X slider, uh, I think that's very cool. It changes the sound and it gives you a whole different instrument to sort of play with. I also really enjoyed the attack and release because that also helps to uh, change it from, for instance, your typical guitar sort of sound to even creating something like a pad. I think this would sound really good for, for any genre, um, especially for cinematic genres. I ended up using it to make a soul beat because I like making these kind of, of beats. I actually like making a lot of different kind of beats, but sort of navigate towards soul just because it's very peaceful and relaxing to me. Uh, but in any case, be sure to check out the Pelham Jr. sample packs on PelhamandJr.com. And there's a lot of soulful, atmospheric sound there. There's guitars, there's pads, and I think that you'll find something that you're looking for to create your next beat. In any case, thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn more about uh, Ramina One, more about elementary sounds, please hit the link in the description below and uh, we'll have more than enough information so that you can check it out for yourself. So this has been Miss Instrumental. Thank you guys for rocking with us and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.